Well, there have been speculations that um, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission could drag Ripple Labs founders into the regulators' uh, long-running legal battle against their company. However, pro-XRP legal experts, Fargo Spoli, has outlined why this is unlikely. Spoli stated in a tweet that the SEC is unlikely to pursue a trial against Ripple's CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, and executive chairman, Chris Larson, for many reasons. Uh, the agency had accused Ripple Labs of selling unregistered securities back in 2020, uh, but although it highlighted Garland House and Larson as integral to the wrongdoing, it never brought an action specifically against the duo. It's not unusual for the SEC to bring actions against top executives whenever it files a suit against a defaulting company. In April this year, the Commission sued Crypto Exchange. Bittrex and its former CEO, William Shahara for operating an unregistered securities exchange. However, Rispoli believes that the SEC only threatened a lawsuit against Gowling, House and Larson to pressure the company into a weak settlement position and did not intend to maintain a suit against them. Uh, he noted that the trial was also unlikely uh, as the SEC would not want a situation where its credibility is questioned uh, which he believes could happen if former SEC kilometers uh, chair Jay Plain and uh, former SEC director uh, William Hinman uh, are called to the witness stand. Um, Rispoli's position may have something to do with the Hinman documents highlighting the agency's questionable practices and possibly corruption. It is believed that Hinman may have been influenced by external forces when he stated that EFER was not a security. As part of his arguments as to why the SEC is unlikely to sue Garlinghouse and Larson Rispoli uh, stated that the commission will find it hard to prove that uh, the executives were reckless in terms of uh, institutional sales as they can raise a defense that these sales were programmatic, uh, something which Judge Torres had ruled didn't constitute an investment contract uh, the lawyer further highlighted that the SEC doesn't have sufficient evidence to differentiate between domestic and international sales uh, when putting forward its case. Vespoli noted that the regulator just reorganized most of its trial team, which could signify that it doesn't have enough manpower to handle an additional lawsuit involving Garwing House and Larson. The SEC moved to file an interlocutory appeal following Judge Annalisa Torres's uh, uh, ruling in favor of Ripple Labs, uh, but Rispoli believes this is a Hail Mary move from the Commission uh, as it had no bargaining chips left uh, if, the, if the appeal had not been approved. Uh, and